say hi from Charish Math. Today, we are dealing with the sixth question of the circle theorem. Find the angle of A and of B. This part is the angle A and this part is the angle B. We are trying to use this theorem that located on my right hand side, which reads as the angle in the semicircle is a right angle. So this line shows AB, which is the diameter of a circle, and that subtended from the diameter of the circle AB will form a right angle 90 degrees as described here. I'm going to label something here for A, B, and C. And I know that the angle ACB is in fact subtended from the diameter of AB that forms 90 degrees according to the theorem explained here. Now, I want to find what is the angle B here. The angle B here is as a result of a triangle OAC, which is an isolysis triangle. So since OA and OC is the radius of a circle, I can make a conclusion to show that this part OAC is same as the angle B. Now, we are using the supplementary angles of a triangle that sum up as 180 degrees. Now, B here would be the result of 180 degrees minus 120 degrees of the angle here. And I'm going to divide by 2 because B stands for two parts here for a triangle it has to be shared equally the same for the anger. That is the reason why it is divided by 2. And I got the value of the B here is 180 minus 120 is 60. 60 divided by 2, I got 30 degrees. So the B is in fact 30 degrees for both sides of the angle. The same isosceles triangle is going to form on the BOC triangle. That means this part OB is the radius same as the OC radius here. Now, I want to find what is the value of A. Since BOC is an isosceles triangle, this part would be the same as angle A as well. Now, angle A, I'm going to use a 90 degrees here and take away 30 degrees which is the B so the remaining 60 degrees that I got it out from the subtraction here is the angle of the A and I solved the whole thing here thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more movies on the Secretarium's 